try and sell you something. Most of the time, I need a mic and try to crack jokes and get in your pocketbook and I'll share it. I want to address the board as individuals and as the board itself. I know some of you, I don't know the superintendent, and I'm sure you don't care. My son has attended Raymond School from kindergarten to 12th grade. 15 years I was involved in this school district, which proud to be that way. I became a kindergarten dad and changed my lifestyle so that I could be here on Friday mornings with kindergarten because I found so many children didn't have fathers. How do you get have children and not get involved? I don't know. And I want to say thank you for being involved tonight. I took a job with the state government. I had no right to know if my co-workers had HIV, AIDS, hepatitis, and we worked in dangerous situations. None of my business. As humans today, we face another challenge called COVID. It's pretty strong stuff. It's wiped out the common cold, the flu, cancer, and common sense. We were told if we just wear a mask and stay home for a couple of weeks, everything will be fine. Then we told them, oh, if you get an injection, you'll be fine. Oh, and now we've got to get another injection. Oh, maybe a third one, they say. Oh, even if you got your injection, you got to wear a mask. At first, kids didn't have to worry about it. Just as old people. I qualified to be an old people. It's none of my business whether you're vaccinated or you're not. It's none of your business whether you're vaccinated or not. I don't care what you want to remember that. Maybe it's just to be a good person and get along. I don't like that. I want you to have the opportunity to step up and be leaders and heroes and champions and say, you know what? We ain't doing this crap. No more. Because that's what champions do. That's what leaders do. They step up and go, you know what? You can stick up for the little person. If you go along, can be known as a great person on thousand eight ways. You wouldn't be the first school district to tell the other way to go somewhere in this state. So I'm going to have to do the right thing and state those that had to lose their jobs because they wouldn't get pregnant. Save me from the embarrassment and the shame of supporting the Raymond School District by doing the right thing. Thank you very much.
had two employees, some of them artists, that did not do the vaccination protocols. They received a letter today from OSDI stating that their funding would be stopped and they were giving until November, I think it's 12 or 17 or something like that, to get those people terminated. That doesn't mean we have to do all that stuff, but that's what's happening. The state is actually putting pressure on the school districts to follow through. Or the Who's
must take breaks and lunch in a separate room from everybody else. Segregation. Segregation. Discrimination. Discrimination and segregated education. Plain and simple. <clears throat> Which, by the way, is not required by state law or other school districts. I wonder why this mandate is being pushed so hard in the school district. Does the school receive money for each vaccinated employee? Money for each terminated, unvaccinated employee? Does the superintendent personally receive money? I don't know. It sure makes sense to me. Why else would you bully this, your uh, employees? I don't get it. I don't get it a bit. Makes you wonder. We all know fully vaccinated people can't catch, spread, and die from COVID. It's a fact. The masks do not work. These masks you're wearing are dust masks, particulate masks. They don't stop the virus. The government is trying to control us. Amen. Satan for hell. 